Howdy folks, what's going on? Today we're going to be looking at some denoising in real time in Touch Designer and that's why we have the lights turned out because we're going to get a little bit grainy in here. Now, we've been talking about the RTX features and how exciting they are for a couple of weeks and today's is a really great one because if you've ever worked in any environment that maybe doesn't have the best lighting, especially if you're doing nightclubs, events in the evening, or even outdoor events at night, if you're using webcams, RGB cameras, or even things like Canon cameras, a lot of the time you will find that there's a lot more noise inside of your camera feed than maybe is desirable. There's a lot of reasons for this and we're not going to get into a whole photography lesson by any or videography lesson by any chance, but we're going to look at how you can fix some of these issues if you do see them. Now inside of Touch Designer here, I have my integrated laptop webcam, which we all know is always the best webcam to use for anything. And we can already see here, it is noisy, very noisy. This wall behind me is supposed to be white and we can say it's, we can see that it's just constantly flickering with, you know, little black spots, gray spots, different discolorations. We can even see myself over here, you know, all kinds of grain, noise, fuzz, discoloration on my face, nothing great, you know. And this is representative of a worst case scenario, but you'll see these same kind of artifacts all across different kinds of camera streams if you're working in nighttime environments, or if you just for some reason have a noisy uh, image or a noisy movie. Now, one new top that we have access to is called the NVIDIA Denoise Top. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one of these. And like all RTX features, this will only work if you have an RTX card from the 2060 and newer which I think most people are starting to now get into their rotation because I believe the RTX 2060 came out at the beginning of 2019, so that's just over two years ago. So if you've upgraded your computer recently or are going to upgrade very soon, then you're going to have access to all these features, which are very exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my video device in to the denoise. And the denoise is great because there isn't too many options that we have to really have to worry about. The first is just selecting your GPU device. In this case, I only have one RTX 3070 inside of my laptop, so I can just leave it at default. The next is selecting the mode here. Now there's two different modes. One is called denoising, which is what we're going to use today. And that really does exactly what it says. It is built for removing the extra noise from an image. The other one is the artifact reduction. Now this one is, is mostly geared towards reducing artifacts and you know any oddities that you might see in something like an H.264 stream. So this could be useful if you're playing back heavily compressed H.264 videos and you start noticing some weird extra fuzz or artifacts in the video. Or if you're doing things like receiving H.264 live streams from web, that might be an area where this kind of artifact reduction would be very helpful. But either way, today we're going to be looking at this denoise. And the final parameter we have is just the strength, whether we want it to set to low or high. Now, even immediately, we can already see if I just put these two tops next to each other, how much smoother this background looks compared to the kind of raw camera feed coming in. You know, it looks a little bit, you see some big flickers here and there, but overall it doesn't look like it's, uh, what do they call it, the popcorn ceilings? It doesn't look like a popcorn ceiling. And this is just on the low setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to high. And we can see when I set it to high, it is quite a remarkable difference here. It, it almost looks like a pretty smooth, flat colored wall, which is what it is in real life. And one thing I love to do when I'm comparing these two things is to grab something like a crop top. And let me crop out a section here of the wall that we can really just kind of zoom in and focus on. So we'll grab a section that has a little bit of shadow and a little bit of that natural wall. And you can see once we zoom in, that is really low quality. And you can't really blame a lot of these cameras, especially the laptop cameras. They're so tiny, they're not really built for dealing in low light. And that's where this NVIDIA denoise top comes in handy because it helps us get a little bit more value out of those kind of devices. So you can see, for example, if I crop out the same region from the NVIDIA denoise, night and day. You can see on the top side, all of these flickering discolorations, pops of black, and here on the NVIDIA denoise one, we can still see real time, very little latency. When I kind of move my head, we can see the shadow trails around pretty relatively in time. 
And I really can't stress enough the night and day difference that this can make. And this is the worst possible camera we could try it on. So imagine if you had already a lot more resolution, but there was some noise, all of a sudden you could take a film or video or live kind of feed that's taken at night and turn it into something that looks pretty great. So one other thing I thought that would be interesting to address is a question we had in our YouTube comments last week, which was talking about the NVIDIA RTX background removal and, you know, how it kind of looks similar to the Kinect camera and the Kinect effects we've been doing for many years now. And, you know, why was it so exciting that we can now do this with RTX, uh, you know, machine learning features? You know, one of the big ones for me is flexibility and ease of use. So we can see here that I'm sitting basically in a pitch black room with just a tiny little light LED light in front of me just to give me a little bit of color. But aside from that, we're getting a pretty good key. No special hardware, no extra wiring, just my same old Logitech C920 plugged into this broadcast app. And this is really, I'm, I'm telling you, this is going to become a staple for a lot of pros, whether they're using the broadcast app because they want to offload some of this work outside of Touch Designer and just have it as a standalone process, or whether they want to do it inside of Touch Designer. If you saw our video last week when we talked about how to use that NVIDIA background removal top, this is a really, really big game changer. You know, if you've ever worked with Kinects in the field, you know they're not really fun to work with. You know, they, they can get to a pretty good result, but it takes a lot of fine tuning, a lot of care about IR lighting. You can't really use it outside. The cable extension becomes really expensive because, you know, to extend that USB 3.0 signal, you're basically switching over to fiber. Then you got to start running fiber everywhere. So the fact that even with a USB 2.0 camera, you know, I can get a pretty good key in basically any situation and any circumstance with just a few clicks of a button and no worry about, oh, the person's getting too close or the person's getting too far, you know, none of that kind of situation or business. I think this is going to be a really cool feature that we're going to see a lot of people use in their installations. So I thought that was a cool thing just to show you. And we also wrote a nice little blog post. So if you do want to get this NVIDIA broadcast app up and running, head on over to our blog. We got a great piece there that basically just walks you through exactly how this works and how to set this up. So with that said, I hope you enjoy getting into this denoising. It's going to be a really big game changer as well for people who are working in these kind of night, uh, nightclubs, nighttime environments, events, concerts, all that good stuff could really benefit from this process. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're serious about taking your touch designer and interactive skills to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon for more awesome free content.